Mr. Masood Karachel, you are the director and co-founder of the Liaison Office, TLO, that was established in 2003 in Kabul. Today in this interview at the Heinrich Boll Foundation, we would like to talk about the current political situation and the role of young political actors in Afghanistan. What are their interests and what are their goals? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for the question. Um, the Afghan youth is going through a tremendous change. Afghanistan has a very large population of youth, um, more than 50%, according to some statistics. Uh, the Afghan youth population has two issues. One is that Afghanistan should move forward. That is not repeating the mistakes of the civil war where factional and ethnic issues and, of course, regional involvement or uh, meddling uh, contributed uh, to civil war and anarchy in Afghanistan. Uh, based on these experiences, the Afghan youth want to take advantage of the international in intervention in Afghanistan since 2001 and to make sure Afghanistan does not go back into that path. So that has led to the development of different youth organizations, some more working in the cultural field. Uh, you have also politically active youth across the country now, and you find more uh, multi-regional dimensions in the youth activism in Afghanistan. How are these young political actors organized? Uh, they're mainly organized in youth groups. And these youth groups are at different level. You have youth groups, at, uh, in some cases, at the rural areas. You have youth groups mainly more stronger in uh, more population or urban centers. And that will be in the south, eastern Afghanistan, northern Afghanistan, and eastern Afghanistan, in the major cities across Afghanistan. And they uh, are looking towards creating an opportunity for youth to have a more voice in the political process in Afghanistan. Because traditionally, Afghan youth, uh, being the younger generation, had limited role in what the country wanted. Uh, you find more confidence, uh, more dynamism. This includes both boys and girls, uh, which have um, are educated uh, and are trying to find that space in the political process in Afghanistan to raise their voices and also to contribute to the state building process in Afghanistan, but also trying to secure a future. Uh, where uh, their rights are addressed and that they can have a fair share in the political arena. You already mentioned some of their goals and aims and how they want to see Afghanistan beyond the time of 2014. How is it they want their country to be like? Uh, I would say if, uh, that the, the main goal is that there should be peace an equal opportunity for Afghans coming from different parts or from different ethnic groups or from different geographical regions. Uh, and they understand that the past 30 years of our history mainly uh, has given limited opportunity for youth voices to be heard because main of the political landscape was controlled by those who were armed with guns. Uh, I think 2014 is also giving them an opportunity because this year is another presidential election and also provincial council elections, and in 2015 we will also have the parliamentary elections. So you see more younger generation Afghans uh, being candidates uh, for provincial council seats, but also in the parliamentary seats. Uh, so there's a new wave of Afghan political youth uh, involvement, and we are seeing more across the board, more involvement of youth in political dialogue with one another. Uh, and thanks to the, I would say, to the international community focus in Afghanistan, youth has been considered now as a major priority that should be supported. Uh, I think what the youth organizations are trying to achieve is to take advantage of this opportunity and to make sure that their voices or their political views, which is a, a more a democratic Afghanistan and where they can participate in the political process, but through the ballot, but not through guns. Uh, this is uh, one key area, and the second aspect will be how to maintain national unity among different ethnic groups in Afghanistan. So this, I would say, is, is, a, is a new phase or a new vision uh, that you can see in Afghan youth. And, and of course, the political arena is not simple. Uh, they have to be uh, it's full of challenges. Uh, and so far, I see a lot of confidence among these youth uh, to play a more productive role.